As a chemist, I find most materials fascinating, but I think pellet is particularly interesting because it's really just a natural product. It's a volcanic rock built over time, containing about 5% of water in it. This specific water in the material permits the material to expand, like popcorn. Then you have these really light glass spheres that you are able to work with it, and these make a really good insulation in the end. The idea of using perlite is quite old. The main new part is the process of making this perlite vacuum insulation, to integrate that into a freezer. The Blue Rocks technology is a pioneering vacuum insulation technology for cooling and freezing. So taking a look at the freezer of Deep Air and reassessing it, rethinking it, just makes you realize how complex it is. I don't think that anyone has ever looked that much in the depths of perlite. The range is huge. You have to start somewhere. You need to change the whole product. It took us more than 10 years to develop it. This was very exciting. Between the walls, there's the insulation material. In our case, that's the evacuated perlite. And as there's no air, no heat is entering from the outside to the inside. The perlite and the high barrier film are the core of the product. For the pair, of course, it's very important to regain the perlite and to reuse it in their own appliances. The perlite is a nutrient and it stays a nutrient. So they really incorporate this first principle of cradle to cradle. It's a thousand small steps, small improvements that bring in a big change. It's really fascinating to see a rock and knowing it became the insulation material of a freezer. <laughs>